Lizzie Bird, welcome back to Mario Party Superstars. Today, we are heading back into some more action on the main Mario Party mode. Of course, in the last episodes, we've been slowly making progress throughout all the boards, and I hope to do more of the same today's episode. We'll also be playing a new character as per usual, so yeah. Hopefully we win. Last episode was a bit of a struggle because we were so close to some easy victories and it all got snatched away. We ended in third place. So maybe this time we'll get a reckoning as we play as Peach. We'll also have some random computers as per normal. Sounds good to me. Seeing how we did not win last episode, I think we should keep the normal CPUs until we do win before we even consider boosting the difficulty. But this episode we'll be doing Peach's birthday cake. Quite fitting that we're playing as Peach then. Uh, this is a three out of five difficulty board and it is from the original Mario Party. Make your way around the delicious cake and plant strawberries to your advantage. Interesting. So for this one, as per usual, we'll just be doing all these. Yep, looks good to me. Let's -a go. Okay, so this will be a cool one for sure. Like all the others, I have yet to experience it myself. We got DK, Yoshi, and Luigi with us as well. We've made it, this is Peach's birthday cake. Wow, it looks delectable. All oh, those little figures of everybody. Oh, I love it. This enormous cake was made for the birthday of a very special princess. Even the candles are huge. Letting them all take, uh, all was quite a task. But what are we celebrating today, you ask? A natural question. Isn't it obvious? A new superstar is going to be born. Today, in fact. Do you understand what that means? We want you to become superstars. Sounds good to me. Looks like you're all fired up. Good, off you march. But now that we're here, I've got some business to take care of. I'll see you later. Toes in charge from here on out. All right, see you, Koopa. You got it. This is up to me to be your guide. Is this your first time playing on this board? Yes. Great, then let me explain. The board looks mighty tasty, but what's up with those pairs of green colored spaces? This route takes you past the pudding, but watch for Bowser and red spaces. Look closely and you might catch a glimpse of a Goomba near the pudding. That Goomba decides which path you'll take, so drop by and say hello. First, we'll decide the turn order. Okay, so we're gonna go oh, 1 So we're last place on our own map. There she's first, Luigi's so second, Donkey Kong is third, and Peach is fourth. But hey, fourth isn't always the worst. It means we just have to be a bit more patient, but maybe we'll be able to use this strategically to our advantage. All right, now where's that star? Looks like it's way over there, right next to the Donkey Kong statue. Here's the star. Be sure to collect coins as you make your way over here. Shouldn't be too big of a deal seeing, well actually, maybe it is pretty close. You should be all set, so let's get started. Okay everyone, give it your best shot out there. Good luck and have fun. All right. So Peach's birthday cake as Peach. Here she's gonna go first. And in the last episode at the end, we did change it so that the characters move more fast on the board just so that we can get through things a little bit better. And I can already see that'll make things a little bit faster. So hopefully we'll get the same amount of content in for a shorter amount of time. They really move too. So they landed on the event space. I'm not sure exactly what that does. Maybe it was a little too fast. They paid five coins to put a piranha plant in there. Okay, maybe the te fast tech speed was maybe a bit of a mistake for a new board. Your turn, Donkey Kong. I wonder if it's something I can... Oh, here we go, tech speed. Uh, let's just put that back to normal for now. <laughs> uh, there we go. You can even add turns from here? Interesting. Anyways, back to where we're going. So, uh, Donkey Kong gets 10. He gets the lucky space. 10 coins for him. Pretty cool. Now it's our turn. Can we also roll a 10? We were all three, so so far we're out there pretty slow. We do land on one of these, event space. Hey, wanna plant a strawberry here? Big or small, you choose. So we only have enough for a small one. It doesn't look like a strawberry to me, it looks like a piranha plant, oh my. But that's a good thing. Interesting. Well, now it's time for a mini game. It's gonna be a four player one. 
Yeah, I'm a little confused by that, but maybe we'll figure it out as we move along. For right now, we have Manor of Escape. Find the door that leads to the floor below. Be the first to escape the manor to win. Interesting, this one's from Mario Party 9. Oh, I see. That's tricky. Okay, so I get the idea though. We'll work on it and hopefully we'll get to the bottom of the matter. Sort of reminds me of uh, Hotel Mario. Start. Okay, so we could try this door. And that was the right one, oh my gosh. So they're all gonna be trying to follow me here in a moment. Okay, so what about this one? So it has to be this one, right? Yep, because the exit doors are the same as the entrance. Oh wow, I got it right. Can I get it right here? No. Maybe here? No. Has to be this one then. Yeah, okay. Very cool. So we just barely beat out Donkey Kong there. That was cool. So we win our first mini game here on Peach's birthday cake. Very cool. So that gives us 10 coins. And we're still in second place because Donkey Kong got a lot of coins earlier. And now it's Yoshi's turn. He's gonna roll a 10. Everybody is rolling so much. Oh, did he already? He found the hidden block. It's gonna give him a couple more coins. Okay, well now it's Luigi's turn. He's gonna roll a nine as well. Jeez, it's so weird how fast they move. <laughs> Gotta get used to that, but it looks like he's also gonna plant a strawberry. And once again, that makes a little sign with his face on it. I really don't exactly know what's happening there, but I guess we'll figure it out as we go along. For now, DK is gonna move five spaces. At this point, they gotta be pretty close, right? Let's hope we get our good roll this time. I get a four. Uh, not quite where I wanted, but at least I can go here. The thing is, is that Luigi's already put one here, so it's just gonna eat me. Oh no, minus eight coins, and Luigi gets them. So it's like setting up little traps. Gotcha. Well, that's a bit unfortunate, considering that uh, I wasn't wanting to begin with. But this time we'll be doing Shy Guy Says, which I'm guessing is gonna be like Simon Says. Raise the same color flag as the Shy Guy raises. He's going to go faster and faster. Okay. And this is from the original Mario Party, so just like that. I get how this works. I think. <laughs> we'll find out. Because you can't raise both of them at once. Okay. So we just have to copy him. Which so far... Oh, that's weird. So when he pulls up both of them, the way from that... Oh, no, 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 no! Wait, he fooled me! He fooled me now! Come back! Oh, no. That's mean. So it looks like I'm not one in this one. Oh, and Luigi's gone too, so Yoshi wins this one. That was brutal. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Well, yeah, I get nothing for that one. Yoshi is now in the lead. At this point though, if we're not in the lead in the first couple turns, I'm not gonna stress it. Mostly because uh, look what happened last episode. We were so far ahead and we still didn't win. It just is one of those things where you just gotta keep trying your best each turn and just sort of see how it goes. Don't get over, over worried about it, I guess. Where that they haven't passed? Oh, so there it is. Don't have enough coins, but keep it up. You'll be a superstar in no time. So Luigi made it first, but not enough coins. BK is going now. He is at eight away and he gets a four. He lands in a lucky space though. And we'll get a mushroom. So chances are he'll probably get the star next turn. Here we go. But hey, for right now, it's my turn. Gonna get a five to land me on here, which nobody has put anything yet, so I I guess I get this. Here's another five coins for it. Problem is we do not have enough for our star even if we reached it, so I guess we're just chilling back here for now. Yes. Well, there we go. 
Now it's time for a mini game. Another four player one. Dinger Derby. Interesting. Oh, okay. Swing at just the right moment to hit the machine's pitches. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Those are so fast. Okay. We're just gonna try our best with this one. This one's from Mario Party 5. Let's see if we can't hit any home runs. Good. Well, that was weird. I was like two for one. So far, it's a bit of a challenge to keep up. Oh man, that was a high arching one. Jeez, this is so tough. Wait, it's a little bit different every time. Whoa, that was cool. Ah. Oh my gosh. There we go, there we go. Jeez, how did they do so well? I got last place again. Game like this is normal difficulty computers. Maybe not as good as the game as I thought, but geez. We've been struggling to keep up. We're still way back here at two coins. All right, turn four. It's Yoshi's turn. Okay, so he's actually gonna get to the star before DK does. And with that, he's now in the lead. Okay. And they got some bonus coins as well. So things are going really good for them. What about Luigi? Oh, he gets an item. So this is one of those maps where getting the star doesn't move it, it seems. Which makes me curious, what is gonna move the star? He's gonna use a mushroom just to guarantee that he gets there. Yeah, he was gonna need it anyways. If he if he didn't, he wouldn't have got there. So that's a star for DK. We're still sitting back here at two coins. You got a star. That's really not looking so good. Here we go. Okay, so let's get our dice block. We'll get a seven. Oh, we get a lucky space, that's something. Uh, come on, 20 coins, 20 coins, 20 coins. Okay, a customized block is cool, but if I get to the start and I don't have enough coins, it doesn't really matter much. Okay, four player minigame, here we go. Trace race. Oh, trace the guideline carefully with your crayon. Okay, this is like the one jackhammer one, but a little bit different. Well, that's tough. Okay, that's gonna... I don't know how exactly this is gonna go. A bit hit or miss, I suppose. Okay, let's go for it. I've practiced enough. Okay, we got this one. I'm determined. Oh no. Oh, that wasn't the best. So you can stop, which is good to keep in mind. That was sort of the downside of the jackhammer one was that you could not stop. That's good. Awesome. So hopefully I outperformed the competition. I guess we're gonna find out. DK looked like he did really good on that one. Nice, we won 96%, not bad. Very cool. So with that we get 10 coins, but it's still not quite enough. Cause as you can see, I'm very close, but I don't quite wanna get it just yet. What I'm curious about, does this just loop around? No, it leads down to the floor. When we item shop, would like to buy something, it looks like he's gonna buy Cursed dice block. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, time to play Flower Lottery. That'll be 10 coins, please, and find your path. So is he gonna go towards Bowser or not? Go ahead, choose the seed, one's the winner. Huh, interesting, oh wow. So it is growing a Bowser flower. Congratulations, you're a winner. Give King Bowser my best, will you? Oh, poor Luigi. I mean, that might be a good thing. You can sort of go around and get another chance at the star. DK's going now. He's gonna roll a tent. So let's see what he gets. First off, he's gonna buy a custom dice block. So I guess he just lost all of his coins there. Go ahead and choose the seed. So he still gets the chance now. And this time, it's actually, he's gonna be able to continue. Oh, too bad. I mean, that's sort of the thing. He's not any closer to the star. Okay, well, he doesn't have any money to plant a seed. So this is what I'm a bit worried about. If you take a look at the board, we are four spaces from the star. Do I really want to risk not getting it? I think what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do the custom dice block and we're literally going to roll a one so that I can get to this next lucky space so that next turn, hopefully I have enough coins to actually get it. So let's see what I get from this one. 20 coins, awesome. So now next turn, hopefully I can roll high enough to get what I need. I think we find bonus mini game coins times two. Here we go, one versus three. We can beat him, I believe in us. We're doing money belts. This is new, I think. Grab as many coins as possible, don't fall off or you'll lose time. Interesting. So there's no way to jump, it's just moving around. Oh my, ooh, that's really weird. But why is this one versus three, I wonder? I guess because DK starts up there. Weird. Uh, okay, let's go for it. Okay, so, yeah, so once he falls, he falls all the way down. He has first access to the coins and stuff, but maybe not always the best situation. Oh my. Oh, there we go, get that back of coins. Got it, nice. Oh no, I'm trapped. You wish you sort of ruined me there. Okay, here I am. So far, I think we're winning. I'm trying to keep it that way, see you, DK. Nice, so we got 17 coins, he got 12. I wonder if he keeps the coins that he got though, because it was a coin mini game. Yeah, but it was times two, so we get 34 coins. And he got, I think, 24? Yeah, I think. Okay, so Yoshi's turn. He's in first place for now. Are you really gonna use this? Is that necessary? No, it's not, I'm in last place. I guess I could maybe still get it if I roll a three. Just plain mean though. But I guess it balances out karmatically, uh, seeing how uh, he got a two, but he still ends on a special lucky space or whatever. Luigi's going. He's gonna use his customized block. But to get where, I wonder. Just one. <laughs> okay, he used the same strategy I did. What does he get out of his lucky space? Customized block, so. Really, nothing lost there. Okay, DK is going, and then it's our turn. Oh, he lands on a red space, though. Okay, our turn. I could roll a three here. Come on, three, three, three. Yes! All right, take that. <laughs> Who did that to us? I think it was Yoshi. Yeah, take that, Yoshi. We have what it takes to be the superstar. We're buying a star, and look at that, we are now in second place. So, you know, not too far behind little Mr. Yoshi over there who was trying to get in our way. You love to see it. And now it's time for another mini game. One versus three, the same situation as last mini game. But this time, we're playing hide and sneak. Oh, okay. Soul side, find your rivals, team side, hide. So we can just choose our hiding spot. Okay. I think this this is one of the ones where you really have to rely on your teammates not to just choose the same spot you do. 
So I want to choose A. I don't know if I pressed A, so I don't know if that worked. Oh no. Which one is he gonna go for, this one? Oh yeah, she was there. Okay, yeah. Round two. Oh no. I don't know, I because Luigi sort of changed last second there. Oh my, he's gonna choose one of these. Oh, let's hope we're not both back there. Okay, it's just me. All right, it's all up to Luigi. The final round. This is a tough one, because you can always see where Luigi is. Oh no. Ah, DK wins this one. All right, that's fine. That's a weird mini game. Cause I don't think you can move all the curtains closed. If you could, that would just like make it a lot more interesting, but you can't. Uh, so, still in second. I don't know what we're doing with the star. Maybe the star just doesn't move in this one. Maybe that's the ticket. I'm gonna put the flower lottery, so what will Yoshi do? What will Yoshi get, I suppose? Yoshi is gonna get... Normal one. So he's gonna have to go the long way around, but he doesn't have to deal with Bowser, so, you know. And running on a chance time space, what is gonna happen here? This could land in Yoshi's favor, you never know. Okay, it's gonna be trading coins between Luigi and me. Oh no. Peach will trade all of their coins? All of, oh, oh, I see, we're swapping. Okay, well that's actually not too bad. I thought I was just keeping all mine to Luigi. And now I'm set for dance time. I mean, I lost four coins. It's not the end of the world. We'll be fine. Okay, so, are we just gonna do his custom dice roll? And Bowser is gonna give him an artifact. I guess these are my extra coins to good use in some way or another. Because he gets that cursed ice block. Oh, no. So he's the closest to getting the next star. But he hasn't gotten a star yet, so it's not too big of a deal. And he's gonna get 15 coins here. Okay. DK's going now. He is gonna get a six. And I guess from making a full lap, he gets a 10 coin bonus. Oh, here we go. That should chomp him and that'll give me some extra coins. So sometimes it's good to be a little bit behind, you know? You get to set those things up. Puts us at 52 coins. So if I were to gain four more coins, I would be in the lead, I'd be in first place. So we wanna use our dice block. We get a three. And we get a lucky space, so we didn't go very far, but at least we got something out of it. Can I get the double dice? Yes, I can. Very cool. Roll two dice and move the total amount. All right, it's time for a mini game. One versus three. Getting a lot of one versus three recently. But yeah, it's Donkey Kong versus all of us again. So tackle, take down, run the ball to the end zone, and then for the team side, tackle the runner. This is from Mario Party 9. <laughs> oh my, okay. This is interesting. Good kick, Luigi. So we just gotta tackle him. Luigi, but what? What, what happened there? Luigi just literally stared at him. I think DK passed Luigi a couple of coins before this whole thing started. Cause that was weird. All right. Well. There we go, I'm gonna put a grr. All right, Yoshi's going now. And he rolled a one. So he isn't going too far this turn. That's good for me. Luigi though, closing in on his first star. He is gonna be able to get it. So with that being said, Toda has given a star to every player. Maybe now she'll move, or maybe she just doesn't move on this board. And there's a way to check on the map. Oh, and an event space, what is this gonna do? That's actually not too bad. 
because now he just has to do sort of a half circle around to get to it. Yeah, he's about 22 spaces away. I don't think that's too bad at all. And DK is gonna get 10 coins. Okay. So yeah, I'm now officially in third with that. Let's use a dice block. And we roll a three. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna do the double dice. But it might be good to see if I get... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Either way, I should probably just be using the double dice. Either way, it's a four player mini game. We get Coney Island. Keep an eye on the shadows to catch the falling scoops of ice cream. Catch the most scoops to win. Oh, interesting, okay. So for this one, I just need to wait for the shadows. I did not even see one there. Oh, over there. Got one. Okay, I get the idea. Let's make some ice cream sacks. That is a giant Mario statue. This is interesting, I really like this. Oh, right there, right there. No, please me. Okay, maybe I should just go somewhere else. Oh, yo, she stole it from me. Not this one, though. Out of the way, Luigi. You can't push anybody out of the way on this one. This really is just whoever gets there first. Nice. So far, so good. I'll stand right here. I see another one forming. Oh, yo, she stole it. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, but you go slower. Oh, no. I think I won. Yeah, definitely. Nice. This is a lot of ice cream. Okay, it shrinks a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, hope you enjoy your ice cream, Peach. There's a one minute game, and that's gonna put us in first. An upset. <laughs> it really is, because I was in fourth place at some point. Okay. You're doing great. Okay, so 10 coins to Yoshi. Which actually I think puts him back in first again. <laughs> My first place uh, success there was a little short lived, but it's a taste for the future. Okay, he's gonna use that block on DK. Guess to just try to slow him down, but I think that we could end up getting pretty close to it all. Okay, that's a 10. So Luigi's actually gonna get quite close here. But I wonder if we could get the Bowser flower, we could end up getting pretty close if we get the double dice as well. Oh, and he found the, the hidden block. Just gonna be coins. It seems like the chance of getting a star from that is quite rare. I'm pretty sure you can get a star from it, right? Yeah. Custom night block canceled. Interesting. So. Definitely use our item this time. Let's see, can we roll the double tens? That's the six. And that's neat, that's actually not too bad at all because we were 19 spaces away. I think that's if we take the Bowser path. Look into the item shop. What should I get here? Hmm, there's lots of options. I wish I could buy more than one thing. But I think I might want to pay up some big money here. Try to get the triple dice. So we just need to roll higher than a three with each one to get over the maximum of 10 normal, normally that we would have. Okay, so let's try this. So I gotta choose a seed. I'm gonna choose this one. Let's take a look, here we go. Will it be Bowser? Please let it be Bowser. Ah, darn. Not oh, too bad you don't get to go see King Bowser. Hope you're not disappointed. I sort of am, because I gotta go the long way right now, but we could still get there pretty quick, and we get a bonus 10 coins, and I'll be landing on a, um, a little space here. Cool, lucky space. What do I get, what do I get? Triple dice, now I have double, triple dice. Okay, interesting. Imagine if I rolled three tens. We'll be on the whole board in extra time. Okay, time for a four player mini game. Gonna be Pokey Pummel. Whoa, keep swinging your hammer to knock Pokey down to size. Each segment takes about five hits to knock out. So it's just, just pressing the button as fast as you can. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Let's give it a try. Okay, ready? I'm gonna start tapping early. 
There we go. So far, so good. I think I'm one in this one. <laughs> All right, that worked out pretty well. 5.46 seconds. Okay, I don't think I'll be beating that record anytime soon. That was interesting. Uh, and that's gonna get us 10 coins. And we're back to second place. So honestly, we're all pretty close here. This is definitely an interesting board because it's a lot smaller in scope. So Yoshi's going now. Still in the lead, but not for long if I have anything to say about it. It's already turned 10. This one goes by real quick. Honestly, time just goes by fast in general when playing this game, which is actually a pretty cool thing. Always good to have games like that. So I gain another six coins from Luigi running into my piranha plant. Donkey Kong is next to his little Donkey Kong figure. And he is also, oh no, this is Luigi's space. So the six coins that Luigi lost, he's gonna get back. So in sort of a long form sort of way, it's almost like I took six coins from Donkey Kong. Wait, no, wait. Yeah, I wanna use my item. Let's use this triple dice. There we go. Okay, let's see what I got. A one, that's that's six, that's good. A 10, and a five. I think that's 21. Oh, come on, I'm one space away from that star. You're kidding. Okay, well that's fine. Nobody else has any items. And we got a times two coins bonus mini game. It's a four player one. What are we gonna get? What goes up? Uh, jump on Koopa paratroopers to reach breathtaking heights. Whoever reaches the highest altitude wins. Okay, whoa, okay. Oh, this one we actually control. Because there's the one with the beanstalk, and with the beanstalk you just sort of choose the direction and jump, but this one you actually do get to control the character in midair, which is a little tricky, but I think we'll be fine. Let's give it a try. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be very focused in on this one, because if not, I feel like they'll catch up. Oh gosh. But hopefully our familiarity with platforming games, we've played many of them over the years, will help us out a bit here. So far, I do think I'm in the lead. Oh, wow, there's an island in the sky. Oh no. I don't wanna get too distracted by the background. There's a lot of ways to fall. Ow. Oh no. Okay, I got 116 yards. And that's a new record. Very cool. I wonder if we can get up to the uh, the the uh, space out into outer space. I guess because <laughs> I know with one of the other ones we had, we, we got the space. I think it was with the the beanstalk. Fine one. Okay, five turns left. We're down to the last five turns. Let's take a look at the current standings. First place is Peach. In second place, we have Yoshi. Third place belongs to Donkey Kong, and in fourth. It's Luigi. Everyone's really giving it their all. This is almost too exciting to watch. But who will win? Let's hear a prediction from one of our board correspondents. Our predictor this time is someone who everyone knows and loves. Here they are. Oh, it's Goomba. Luigi's sure to win. Talk about momentum, wow. You heard that right. All right, here's Luigi. Our predicted winner, Luigi, will receive a bonus hidden block card. Interesting, makes a hidden block appear. I've never seen that one. Now that we're in the home stretch, blue spaces will give you six coins, which is doubled from before, and same thing, the red spaces will give you minus six coins. It's the only one's game, so keep trying your best and don't give up. This is the closest it's been so far for our final five turns. Yoshi is gonna get a star here. Wow, you definitely have what it takes to be a superstar, so. There's one extra star for Yoshi, but I'm about to do the same thing, so doesn't only really get him too far. You got star. Okay. Luigi so Luigi's going now. Hmm. Yeah. He's using his hidden block card right away. Let's see what he gets out of this one. Will it be a star? It won't be. Imagine if it was that. I would've changed things a lot. So he's still 10 from the star. Make us a lucky space, which will give him Cursed Dice Block. Okay, I wonder who he's gonna use that on. Hopefully not us, but you never know. So DK is going now. 
and he gets exactly what he needs to get to the star. This really is close. You got a star. Okay. Oh my, and they're already gonna fight two or more players in the same space, that means it's time for a duel. He's gonna wager 29 coins. I sort of am rooting for Donkey Kong here. So I just think I have a better chance of beating him. Oh, it's gonna be close now. Yoshi won. So Yoshi's gonna be a total of 94 coins now. So that means that he will be in the lead even if I get this second star. That's a bit rough. But I do wanna use my second triple dice. Hopefully I can go and get you know the shop here too. Okay, ready? Ah, oh, a one, an eight, and an eight. So 17 in total, not too bad. Let's open more for my triple dice, but here we're gonna pay the 20 coins for a star. And if we could get to the shop, and if there's a golden pipe there, we could maybe do something here. Okay, can I knock all those guys out of the way? What do we get in the shop? No golden pipe. I could consider the triple dice. Again. I'm thinking about it. I think we're gonna go for it. Just go all in on these. Well, there we go, another triple dice. I just hope we can uh, make it around properly then. If I could get here. Come on, 10 coins for the flower lottery. There's only one seed left, meaning do we finally have a winner? Let's take a look, here we go. So what happens after you run out of seeds? Do we just have to get, get to go this way anymore? Come on, Bowser, Bowser, Bowser. Yes! All right, this is actually a good thing. Wow, you are so lucky. I'm so jealous. Have fun playing with King Bowser. I know Peach is upset, but don't worry. And there's Bowser. We went so far with this. So you like cake, do you? Well, this should make you happy. I, I got up at the crack on to make this. Oh, thank you. It's gonna rock your taste buds. Oh, okay, he's quite the little baker. Oh, the price? Well, all the hard work, what do you say to 20 coins? I'll take it. He put some good work into this. Now that's settled. Don't sit there like a stone eating up. Oh, oh, did I mention it's made of rocks? Better wash those teeth. <laughs> okay, maybe he's not quite the baker. It's fine though, we're still at 40 coins. If I can triple roll my way into a star next turn, we'll be doing really good. We'll be the first player with three stars in this game. And it looks like we're playing a four player mini game, Pushy Penguins. Avoid the Pushy Penguins without falling into the water. Last one standing once, and this one's from Mario Party 5. Okay, I get the concept of this one pretty easily. We're gonna get started. Oh my. Oh, it's so cute though, I love the penguins. Remember them from Mario 64, which we played last year. Whoa, whoa, okay, so once you start pushing, you don't really wanna be all the way to the right just in case you sort of run into a dead end of penguins. So far, not too bad, but it does get real crowded at parts. Oh my, yeah, see if I was super far to the right, I wouldn't have had the time to really dodge that and see my escape routes. Oh no, oh no. I fell off the, I didn't, oh no, I didn't realize I could do that. It looks like Luigi wins this one then. That's okay, we were very close to getting it. So we get three coins, you know, it's something, it's a, it's a consolation. Okay, so Luigi, speaking of which, is closing in on his second star. So he's just gonna roll three, he's not really gonna get too many other places. At least not for right now. And he's gonna get seven more coins. Coins are only one currency here. Stars are the core. So we're just gonna get his second star. See, getting a lot of stars, it's just sort of the way it goes with this one. So there we go. Everybody currently has two stars, but if I have anything to say about it, not for long. DK doesn't have any items, so we don't have to worry about anything there. He's gonna roll an eight. And he's gonna get an item. Custom dice block. Okay. Here we 
Okay, our turn, we've already dealt with Bowser, that's all on our pass, and we have this triple dice block. You know what we're gonna do? Because I think we're only nine spaces away, so we should be able to you know, loop around. There's already seven, there's five, so we've got it guaranteed, and we get a one. It's not the best roll for a triple dice block, but still, it's enough for that star. All right then, so we definitely have what it takes to be a superstar. Okay, this is all yours. You got a star. Awesome. And we land all with the Luigi. Okay, time to battle it out then. All I can wager is 23 coins. Choose how many coins you want to wager. I'm a little worried. No, wait, no, wait. No, no, no. Should we really go for this? I'll go about 15. Yep, 15 coins. Great, I'll add on to the 15 coins from each of you. Because I think I'll get a bonus three just for being here after all this. Total of 30 coins were collected. The winner will take it all. Are you ready? And begin. Oh, yes. Luigi beat me in the last mini game, but not this time. We got TikTok Hop. Jump and avoid the clock. Spinning hands don't get hit. We've already played this before, and we won that one. Let's hope we can do it here. Start. I'm a little nervous. Oh, so if you jump too soon, it'll land on top of it, it knocks you off. Okay. Well, that was embarrassing. Yeah, last time I was on the outside, so I guess I'm a bit more used to that. All right, Luigi, you are in fair and square. Throw your coins. Okay, well, I'm down to eight now, which isn't so good. But I should get a bonus three there, or bonus six. Yeah, that's right. And if we win this mini game, we're back up to 24. So that's fine. One versus three mini game. Donkey Kong versus the rest of us for like the fourth time now. Piranha's Pursuit. Soul side, mash up onto escape. Oh, look at him skating. <laughs> He's running away from PD Piranha. Team side, ground pound the to feed PD Piranha with the rain. Interesting. That is so weird. Okay, I get the idea though. Super duper odd. Okay. See, we're just trying to water him right now. The more we water him, the more he catches up. He's growing. That's it. Oh, it's getting close. Come on, Petey, you can do it. BK hasn't made any mistakes, so he's he's got some flawless skating going on. I think if he runs into just one object, we'll be fine. This one feels totally chance based on if DK makes a mistake, which he just said. Winners. All right, well there's a win for us. So we get 10 coins, but so does Luigi. I think that's fine now. What are the chances that he's gonna get back to the star? I mean, more Yoshi, I guess we're afraid of, but can't even really compete with him very much with how many coins he has. Three turns remaining. And that's where it gets scary. If he is able to get to the star, I mean, if he's rolling twos and stuff, it's not gonna be easy for him. He gets the event space which will bring him down that way. Oh my. That is a bit nerve wracking, isn't it? Hmm. Luigi's gonna do the cursed ice block on me. But why, what did I do? I, I'd be like, I guess because we're the winner right now. Let's see. Uh, but why? There you go, that's how I feel about this. All right, so Luigi gets a triple dice. He's trying to pull my strategy out here. So he's playing the flower lottery, but there's no seeds left, I thought. Go ahead, choose a seed. Oh, I guess it's a new set of seeds. So for our hope, let's hope he doesn't get the Bowser this time. No Bowser? Yes, no Bowser. Because now the chances of him being able to get all the way around are lower. They're still there. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. For right now, DK is gonna use his custom nice, I guess just to roll a ton, a nine. I'm guessing the 10th space isn't pleasant. So let's see how DK does with this flower lottery. He's gonna get... A not Bowser, okay. I'm pretty sure at 50-50 there's two not Bowsers and there's two Bowsers. Chance time space, ooh. Last time, we swapped coins with Luigi. If I could swap coins with Yoshi, I would gladly take it. Come on. DK, do me some favors. It's DK. 
It's Yoshi. Swap coins, maybe? No, okay. He's just gonna give Yoshi three coins. All right. Yeah, he doesn't have any coins. The poor guy. Here we go. All right. Uh, see, I have this dice block right now. I can't do much about. We roll a three. That was hoping for a one. But I do have the chance for an item here. This is where things get scary because. How do I want to do this? I think. Let's view the board. If DK gets his third star, we're still technically in the lead. Luigi gets his third star, we're in a bit of trouble. But Yoshi is the biggest problem, and he's in the lead towards the star. So I think for right now, I can either get the warp block or the cursed dice block. And I think I'm gonna do cursed dice. Because none of them have really items to cancel. I mean, Yo Luigi sort of does, so. Ooh. No matter what, this is a tough one. I wanna go cursed dice. And maybe just put that on Luigi. I don't know how that works exactly. But I get plus six coins, so that's something. Oh, could I get the star? Please, please let me get the star. It's it's Peach's birthday cake. Oh, not quite. All right, but still plus 10 coins is a pretty big one. If right now, four player mini game. I could have also just gone for the triple dice and tried to go around myself. But I feel like it's maybe more strategical to focus on hindering them. Either way, Mario Party 2, use the spikes on your car to burst your rival's balloons. Interesting. But like, yeah, if we just hide towards the back, sort of does make a big difference for us. Wow, okay, yeah, that's definitely intense. Let's hope we can win this one. I think I will try to hang back and see who gets each other in trouble. I love the look of the little cars now. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh don't look at me, don't look at me. Ah! Come on, DK, you can get that one. No. They're just chasing each other right now. Jeez, the controls are so weird. Gotcha! Oh, I don't like that. Go for it, go for it. Ah! Uh. Uh, ah! Uh. No, wait! DK! Yeah, I got it! That was so scary! Oh my gosh! We're doing donuts. Okay, well that's plus 10 coins for me. That's nice. Two turns left. Yoshi is going to uh, use a dice, and he just gets two. So Yoshi's sort of in this bad spot right now where he isn't really getting anywhere. Hoping it stays that way, but you never know what enemy he's about to get. He gets the lucky space. The more I'm thinking about this, the more I'm like, oh, maybe I should have just uh, gotten my own triple dice to see how far we could get. He's not using, hmm. He's not using his triple dice yet. Yes. Makes me think. I don't know how the, the evil dice, oh, he's gonna place a big one in there. Actually, he might not have wanted to do that. Because now, if he pays the 20 coins for the star, yes. He'll actually be less money than I am and not be in first place. EK I'm not even worried about because he still needs to get 17 coins even to get his third star. And even then, once again, he won't have as many coins as I will after. So it's really between me, Luigi, and Yoshi. Yoshi doesn't look like he's gonna be able to get there. If I look at the board. Yeah, Yoshi is more than 10 spots away. There's no way he can get there on the next turn. Uh, so it's all about Luigi and his triple dice. So we might as well use us. I don't know how this works with the triple dice if it just gets canceled out. Hopefully it ruins one of his three dice rolls. But we're just gonna go for the dice block. We get a seven. And let's see what we roll this time. We pay 10 coins for our little lottery. And we get one of these two. I don't think it matters much. But we do get the Bowser, so if I really just want the triple dice, maybe it would have been better. Cause I still get the, ooh, okay, hold on. Mushroom or double dice? Ah, oh, seven coins. Okay, well, I'll make the most of that. It's mini game time. Yeah. 
and it's gonna be Bill Blasters. Aim for your rivals and fire away. But be careful, it won't count if it hits your counter. Oh my, this is dizzying. Okay, uh, that is really weird. That is really, really weird. Okay, I don't know how to feel about this one, but we'll give it our best shot. Oh, almost got him. Almost got him, come on. Trying to get rid of Luigi. How did that not hit him? Okay, no, oh, I see. So we have hit points. Oh, I got hit there. Oh no. Come on, oh, that was way too soon. Okay, I didn't mean to fire it at Yoshi. There we go, we got him. So Yo Luigi's fourth place. That was intentional, I was trying to get him out first so he doesn't get any coins this round. Oh, there we go. Because one hit away. Okay, it's just me and Yoshi. Yoshi and I. Oh no. So Yoshi does have one more hit point than I do. Jeez, I don't know what it is, but it's so tough to angle it correctly. This is taking a while. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, come on, he got me there. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one so far. Oh, somehow that got him. I'm glad about it, but it was just weird. Come on, ah, oh, darn. Oh, that was good. Okay, one more time. Oh gosh. Nope. Oh man, you're kidding. Ah, oh, this takes so long. Oh, but he got me, darn. That one was sort of baloney, but Yoshi wins. Okay, so, as you can see, we got first place for right now. But we'll see how this goes, this last turn. Here's she's gonna try. Oh, and they're gonna battle. Actually, this could be huge. If Yoshi could win this, this basically secures the win for me. 52 coins, he's wagering every coin Luigi's got. Okay. Yoshi won! Awesome! Okay, that basically means, because Yoshi's done all the moving he can do right now. The only scary thing is the bonus stars. Anyone on the event space, so I guess he's gonna give some of those back. But now, even if Luigi reaches a star location, wait, what? Wait, what? You can take a star from that? That's what the big one does. Luigi's a mastermind. I didn't even know that. Okay. So Luigi has three stars now, but he has no coins. He has no coins to lose there. Huh. I don't think there's any way I could reach the star from where I'm currently at if I had gotten a mushroom or something. Maybe. So he's gonna put something here, I guess, but I don't think anybody else is reaching it, so don't know if that was worth it for DK. Oh man. How far away are we? 11. Man, that really stinks. We get a three, so yeah, we're not getting there. It's okay. Oh, got something good for you. I hope you saved up. I, I don't even need it. I thought that I'm losing coins is actually a bit stressful with that. Well, with that being said, as long as we can gain one star from the bonus round, and nobody gains two stars from the bonus round. We'll be fine. We'll get an extra lucky space just to send us off. They don't even give us an item because they know. <laughs> There's no more items really to make use of. Final mini game. Let's earn some coins here. Let's win a mini game and hopefully we can get the mini game star. This time one versus three, but this time DK is not on his own. It's tug of war. Whoa. So it'll decide to use your super strength to pull the rope and drag the opposing team off the cliff. Team side, pull your rival off the cliff first. 
Okay, so for this one, you have to rotate. And they have a little <laughs> warning to avoid irritation on your skin and or damage the control stick. Don't rotate it with the palm of your hand. Because I think that used to happen on the N64 version of this game. And people were getting hurt from it. Okay. Well, for right now, we're not gonna worry about it. I don't need it. Okay, wow, that was really easy. That was really easy. All right, we win. Good job, everyone. So there we go. Who is gonna be the winner here on Peach's birthday cake? Hopefully, Peach. All turns have ended. Great job, everyone. It's time to announce the results. Uh, now, who will win it all? First, let's go over the bonuses. The first bonus is mini game bonus. This should be me, I think. This bonus is for the top tier player who got first in the most mini games. And the bonus goes to, please, please, please. Yes, Peach. There we go, we finally get a bonus start. This is our first one. The second bonus we've got is the eventful bonus. This bonus is for the lively player who landed on the most event spaces. And the bonus goes to Luigi. So I think we're both at four stars now, but actually no, because didn't somebody, no, Luigi, okay, yeah, I think we're fine. That brings us to our final announcement, the winner. And the winner is, what is this? Oh, the Piranha Plants, CA Yoshi, CDK, it's between me and Luigi, and I think I'm the winner. Awesome, see you, Luigi. So sorry, better luck next time. We did it, we won against normal computers. It's Peach. All right. Superstar. We are the superstar. Very cool. Oh, look at this, that's so cute. Awesome. Peach comes in first, a truly spectacular performance. If I had to guess, your winning strategy involved coming out on top in mini games. Second place, that was an amazing effort, Luigi. You ended up in, on a lot of events pieces. I hope you had a good strawberry harvest. Third place goes to Donkey Kong. Can you believe that effort? You landed on more red spaces than the rest, but that didn't keep you down. Yoshi takes fourth place, a passionate player all around. He collected more coins than anyone else. Your wild is bursting, eh? What an amazing competition. Without further ado, let's check the final results. Very cool, so I can't believe it, we won. So we were tied with stars with Luigi, but since I had coins and he didn't, that turned out quite well for us. So we only got a crown in one thing, the number of hidden blocks and the stars, I guess. But we tied with Luigi. Oh no, I'm, I'm actually, I was reading Luigi's there. So we had um, number of minigame coins collected, number of items bought and items used. Definitely item usage really saved us here. And we also had six lucky spots. Pretty crazy, twice as much as everybody else. So let's finish it with that. We got four stars, the winner bonus, that's a thousand coins. Very cool, and that'll get us all the way to level it's still going, 15, 16. The encyclopedia board for Peach's birthday cake, along with the music and card design, were added to the Toad Shop, and new stickers were added. Very cool. So with that being said, let's return to the square. And we'll go check out the shop, see if there's anything new to buy. Okay, so first the stickers. Uh, we got, yay, a little Bowser Jr. one. I like this one. Uh, the close one sticker. We can't wait, a little question block. The bad luck pipe. And that's it for stickers for now. But the car design, we have the Spaceland one we couldn't quite afford last time. Uh, go, go ahead and get that. The Peach's birthday cake. Looking good. Anything else? We got the neon mushroom. Okay, we'll get these. There we go, and the mushroom. So 242 coins left over. Can we spend any of that here? Yeah, we have Birdo's page, and we have Toad's page. So there we go. We're making our way through all the encyclopedia stuff, slowly but surely. Some of it, I think, was cheaper if you get down here. You have 40 coins for the different things. Uh, very cool. So that being said, I think we'll be done there. Uh, we have one or two more boards left to check out. I think two more boards. So that'll be pretty exciting. Then we'll have other things like, of course, Mount Mini Games and online. So lots of cool stuff coming up. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Party Superstars. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.